Today I'm answering a question that Christina Shimko uh, asked me to uh, elaborate on as a hairdresser uh, to a client, but more importantly, I guess a client back to a hairdresser, on how does a client, a guest, uh, a visitor in your salon, whatever you want to choose to use, a family member who's in your chair, convey to you as the artist or the magician uh, what they're trying to say to get the exact picture in their head or picture of a magazine applied to their hair. So, Christina, I hope I do you justice. If we can find your links, we'll put your uh, links to your art down below because you're an amazing artist. If you guys have not seen her work, there's Christy Shimko, I think I'm saying right, a local Fort Worth artist who is asking this question. So, how do you talk to a hairdresser and get exactly what you want? First of all, what I like is for you not to come in and talk like a hairdresser. Uh, we all, in this modern age, we look at YouTube, look at Instagram, look at Pinterest, the 10 top of this, three top of that, the five worst, the two best, blah, blah, blah. Just don't come in talking like, like you're a, an employee of a hair salon. Um, every hair salon uses different vocabulary. Every different brand, they may call something different. Like it might be a baseline, it might be the perimeter, it might be the fringe, it might be this, it might be that. So talk to us like you talk to your girlfriends when you have a glass of wine. Look, I hate my hair right here because I feel like I've caught her spaniel ears. Or I hate this chunk right here. It's just, it just lays there. It's like this big, giant dead spot in my shape. So if we know we can address issues that you're already having because you have issues, that's why you come to the hair salon and things fixed, right? The same way you see a doctor. If you're hurting, you see a doctor and you tell me the symptoms. So just tell us your, tell us your symptoms, right? It's just too heavy. I feel like it's weighing me down. How can we raise it up? How can we shorten it without losing all my length? Um, another thing you do is bring in pictures. Bring it in on your on your tablet. Bring it in like one drip out of a magazine. So like this one out of a magazine. I just this bizarre magazine, right? This is a blonde. Can you see it in the camera good enough? This is a very blonde who outside of this picture isn't blonde at all. So you can tell her background is super white. You can tell by her skin tones. There's a huge, huge whitewash right in this area here. So from here up, she is a platinum gorgeous blonde. I don't want any gold in my hair or any dark tones like this picture. If you look down here, that's all dark and gold or orange. Not wrong or right, it just is what it is. So if you'll take a picture you're looking at, that's your dream picture, and put your hand over their face, then you can see what about the hair you like. I mean, do you really like the way it balances? Is the blonde on top gonna balance the blonde on bottom? I don't know. It's whatever you want. Then even better is to turn upside down and do it. Then look at what you see from top to bottom, then bottom to top. If it didn't fit your idea, and you say, well, I like that one piece right here. I like, like that piece right there by her chin. Can I get a piece right there? Well, yeah, you can do that. So just, Slow down with your with your hairdresser or your magician and, and talk real. Like, this bothers me, this doesn't bother me. This is easy to fix, this is hard to fix. Because honestly, the hairdressers get the best haircuts in the world. Because I'll sit in Georgie's chair right there, who's filming us, hi Georgie. And I'll say, hey Georgie, my ears are getting fluffy right here. I feel like a poodle. Just cut around my ears, get it tight. Don't touch the top, don't touch the sides, just around the ears. And she goes, oh, okay, we're done. So just tell them the piece that has to be fixed and they should suggest other things to tie it together for you. Let's see, I wrote down some of the notes real quick. Let's see, talk like a friend, talk like, like, like you're a friend of ours. You know, um, what part of the picture do you like? And if you're doing color, and someone says, hey, when's the last time you did color? You say, oh, not too, it was a long time ago. If your hair is from the top of your head to your shoulders, the average length of growth is about one finger a month. So if your hair was totally bald, one, two, three, four, there's eight, 12 months of growth right here. If you have color in the last year, that color is still in your hair. And if you wanna be platinum blonde, or see-through shiny this, or pastel this, or pink, or yellow, or green, we have to know what you colored your hair, or when you colored your hair. And if you know what you colored with, it's even better. So I didn't color it a long time. Your hair's down to here, but you colored it these four months, and these four months, and these four months, and these four months, and these four months, but you haven't done these four months. All this is different every time you apply color than it is up here. So think about those kind of things as well. And then allow your hair magician to use your picture, whether it's color or cut, 
So use that as an inspiration, not ask them to do the exact same thing. We weren't there when they cut it. You can't see the whole picture. Usually you see the front of the face or the side of the face in the picture. You can't see the back. You can't tell if they actually pulled the hair around all the way, or they pushed it this way, or they pulled it back around this way, or the back, back of the hair is combed up over the top. So when we do hair shows or photos for photo shoots, we actually do all these tricky things so all the hair looks bigger up here, but from the back, all you see is bobby pins. So if you can just uh, let us use your pictures as your inspiration and talk about every detail that really turns you on on the hair, that's the best way. So Christina, I hope this helps. Anybody else have any film ideas you want us to film for you? I'll be glad to do it and do my best to answer it uh, so it makes sense. So please like our page, subscribe to it, share it with all your friends, and we'll see you in the next video.